new for us at five, a Northwest Indiana pastor says he was trying to help a migrant family get out of the cold and into a home. But Hammond officials say what he did was dangerous. Our Charlie DeMar spoke with the pastor and has new details about what happened. And that pastor tells me that a member of his church agreed to house a family of migrants temporarily. But this week, Hammond police stepped in, calling that living arrangement dangerous and uninhabitable. East Chicago pastor Manuel Corazari has donated clothes, food and his time to migrant families who arrived in Chicago and were initially living in and out of police stations. One of the boys grabbed my leg and called me Anko and said, Anko, I want something for Christmas. It just broke my heart. He grew close to this Venezuelan family and arranged for them to get off the street. A member of the pastor's church agreed to temporarily house the family in his basement for no charge. In all, 13 people, including nine children, ranging in age from two months to 14 years old. I think all, all of us, we had a heart of compassion to make sure these people will not suffer in the winter time. This week on an unrelated call, Hammond police were alerted to two families living in the basement, calling it substandard, overcrowded, and in violation of several city ordinances. They have, you know, extension cords that are overloaded. They have, you know, unsafe means of trying to heat the basement. You know, it was just a bad, dangerous situation. City inspectors say the cramped conditions created a potential fire hazard not only to those inside the home, but the entire neighborhood. Pastor Corazari says he was just trying to help. We're doing everything we can to go by the law. We don't want to cause any harm. We apologize. It's not compassionate if that entire those two families die in a basement apartment fire. That's not very compassionate. Mayor McDermott also pointed out, unlike Chicago, Hammond is not a sanctuary city. Indiana has been spared from this debate that you all are going through in Chicago right now. I don't want it to start in Hammond. All 13 migrants were ordered to leave the home. City inspectors will be out there next week, and we're told the migrants are unsure on where they'll go next. Reporting in Hammond, Indiana, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.